also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my final movie review today is going to be Basic Instinct. Now, this was on March 20th, 1992. It is an erotic thriller that received mixed to positive reviews with critics. On Cinema Score, I rated a B. It has a 6.9 out of 10 on IMDb, a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 82% on Google. This movie had a $49 million budget and made $352.9 million at the box office. Huge, huge number for this movie. Uh, and I say that because this movie had controversy surrounding it upon its release, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, it was directed by Paul Verhaven and written by Joe Esterhaz. And it was uh, starring Mike Sharon Stone, Janine Triplehorn, Lilani Sorelli, Bruce A. Young, Stephen Tobolowsky, and Wayne. And it, it centers around Catherine Trammell, played by Sharon Stone, and Detective Nick Curon. Uh, Detective Nick Curon is called to a scene where a guy was uh, killed with an ice pick. And they suspect um, Catherine Jamel, played by Sharon Stone, they bring her in for questioning um, where she, <laughs> uh, well, I won't spoil what, uh, how, what, how the interrogation goes uh, for those who have seen the movie. Uh, but before we get into more of the movie, the controversy around this movie is uh, with all the, the sex and violence that is in this movie and how certain characters were portrayed. Um, but despite all the controversy and the mixed reviews with critics, this movie made a killing at the box office, no pun intended. And it was one of the highest gross movies of the 1990s. And it has since become known to be a masterpiece and I, I would have to agree, this movie is really, really, really good. Uh, there are some twists in this movie. It keeps you guessing. Um, even the end of the movie, it keeps you guessing and thinking, you know, was it really this person or was it someone else? And uh, I heard there was a sequel that was made in 2006. Uh, that returned Sharon Stone, which didn't do quite too well. But this movie, I really, really enjoyed. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen it. And uh, it's just as good as ever. And uh, Sharon Stone, she this is one of her uh, best performances, along with the movie Casino. Uh, she plays a writer. Uh, a lot of her books... Um, come true, let's just say, um, as far as crimes go. People are uh, mimicking what they've seen from her books, and they're trying to figure out if she's the culprit or if it's someone in the past. Um, there are a lot of different people involved uh, around the controversy in the, in the film itself, not the controversy uh, the film being made. Uh, there's a lot of characters you gotta keep up you can't you know don't take your eyes off the screen because you may miss something but uh, the story the direction uh, everything is top-notch uh, I would have liked to have more character development uh, with some of the characters uh, and maybe a little bit more thrills this is an erotic thriller uh, maybe a few more thrills. This movie was, um, I think, a touch over two hours long, but it flows really nice. There's, there's nothing that really hangs it up. Um, but I could have gone for a little bit more suspense and thrills uh, than what we got. But other than that, those are just minor nitpicks. I love this movie, and uh, I highly recommend that you check it out. I'm going to give Basic Instinct a 9 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So definitely check this movie out. Like I said, it's an erotic thriller. 
Um, it's a whodunit uh, type of movie. And um, yeah, I'm surprised that there weren't more uh, sequels with this movie, especially given the uh, big box office of this movie. You could have made, you know, at least two more movies uh, based on that box office. But uh, nonetheless, uh, like I said, the character, Michael Douglas, was excellent in this movie, too. This movie was nominated um, for two Oscars. It was nominated for two Golden Globes, including one for Sharon Stone for Best Actress. Um, it was also nominated for six MTV Movie, MTV movie Awards. Uh, Sharon Stone won for Best Performance and for Most Desirable Female. Uh, and uh, I would agree. She... <laughs> She is gorgeous, this movie. But uh, other than that, in the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And uh, let me know who was your favorite character in this movie. For me, uh, hands, hands down, Sharon Stone. I mean, she's, she's just tremendous in this movie. And uh, yeah, everything about it is just fabulous. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. And let me know, did you or have you seen the sequel that they made? I believe it was 2006. Uh, if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that one as well. I have not seen that movie. Uh, I believe Sharon Stone returns for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. Stay tuned for a special ranking um, that I will be doing here shortly. I still got to make some little minor adjustments to it. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. And stay tuned for many more notifications on movie reviews, TV show reviews, and other fun things entertainment. I thank you for watching, and check you later.